again the uh, mental aptitude of the players who are being tested on this night an unusual night in San Jose so far the players seem to be moving okay the ball's moving okay which is even more important that it is just played straight out so Alani this is Alani now with the throw in hooked up to the edge of the 18 yard zone and a first time clearing header from the uh, French centre back Silla opportunity here exists for Mbaki and a not too convincing clearing header and then a complete uh, fresh fresh air shot and talking of shots this one's going to win a corner kick Utre getting the effort away with her left foot and where did it take the deflection there was the miss miss kick completely yeah just flicked off the knee not visible to the naked eye but Utre there from Paris Saint-Germain corner kick for the French they've uh, got half a dozen in here as well and they'll attack the ball oh I thought it had gone straight in for a moment there well, VAR will certainly look at that one no French arms appear to be raised but it was certainly a scary moment for the Nigerians who are now ploughing forward themselves and that's the second time we've seen the goalkeeper Petito dive down very bravely here it is then a real in swinger the keeper unsure it certainly does not cross the line before it is hacked away to safety well we've had an adventurous resumption probably more action in it than we saw in the first 20 minutes and it's the French who are leading the assault and finding their players who are the better could knock down well covered then they have to weave their way forward halfway through the first half seems a strange thing to be saying an hour and uh, 20 minutes after it kicked off if there's a touch of blood here that will have to be uh, attended to history is the victim Don't think there's any blood but because it's the head again there'll be a quick test can have concussion substitutes these days so many innovations this is the first time at a women's under 20 world cup that we've had var for example and all the various technology that's around these days splendidly done that by chakunte and the french have come out with an extra spring in their staff i think this could be useful though, a one-on-one -on -one situation developing here. Switch back and then the cross is useful as well. The ball will go uh, dead from the header. There's an opportunity there which uh, Jerry Joy put well wide of the mark. Just couldn't get her bearings I don't think the uh, young player who scored in that uh, final second leg against Senegal got two goals in the qualifiers overall they had some big wins to the uh, Nigeria it's France who are looking for a big win at the moment and looking for a breakthrough as this ball spirals over the running track over the the puddles well the challenges will be no less boisterous because of the conditions nice uh, cross field pass there from the right boot of Pesho it's opened things up down the right hand channel now for the French missed by the first defender should be cleared by the second and was by Alani Twenty-five minutes played now. Twenty still to go in this remind you of the first half. If anybody is just joining us, play was uh, postponed for the best part of an hour. 
because of the adverse weather conditions so we've only just resumed halfway through the first half and this one will bounce up into the arms of the uh, the goalkeeper Ayono she hits it very long great clearance well worth a chase not yet convincingly dealt with France are going to make a substitution well that's an interesting decision the player who is coming on is uh, Mancita Traore yet another from Paris Saint-Germain and the player who's gone off as you can see there because she's applying some uh, bandage to her left eye is Oceana Utre <laughs> So the latest French move uh, starts in the right fullback position. The uh, number four, Alice Somba, from uh, Olympic Lyonnais. Always disappointing for a player when they have to come off as early as that. But the correct call made, I'm sure, between the physiotherapist and the uh, referee as the French mounts a promising looking attack with just a bit too much weight on the pass. Still a good opportunity for the substitute who's come on, Traore. She'll have plenty of time in the game now. An awkward one for the goalkeeper. Oh, oh, he's headed just wide, but it was a big, big chance for France to take the lead, and it would have been Traore. Spectacular start for her. Mancita Traore is a forward, and she got into a great position here. Wonderful cross, by the way. Keeper always struggling, and you look, it looked for all the world as though Traore was about to give France the lead. It was an absolutely brilliant cross from Le Guy. We are locked at nil-nil as the referee will award Nigeria the latest free kick. There's the girl who won it, Mercy Idoko, who scored five times in the qualifiers. I was likening one player a moment ago to uh, Adimola Lukman. She's likened to John Obi McKell, if you remember him, famous Nigerian player, Chelsea amongst his clubs in a glittering career. Free kick Nigeria into the right area. The keeper's got the punch away. She's not in her net though, but the effort was blocked in the event. There seems to be a bit more purpose about the game than there was when it initially kicked off from both sides. Maybe they have been looking at videos in the dressing rooms. And Nigeria winning a sequence of free kicks here. The latest for the challenge on Mercy Doko. He plays for the Nazarawa Amazons. Just a tug on the shirt there. Easily spotted by the referee. It was uh, Samura who did the pulling. Cats and dogs is the phrase we often use. Oh, she's going to have a go for goal here. Well, we saw a spectacular strike from 35 yards out last night. But maybe that's what Demahen had her on uh, her mind there. But it was direct, but it was a, a long-distance effort. Ended up with the ball, boys and girls. Both sides are quite attacking formations. So they've come believing they can find goals here on the night. She should just uh, manage to get a toe on this one and just claim another throw in. Uh, Besho doing the defending. Besho very much one of the rising stars of French women's football. It's 
is promising. Ample time to get across away, but it's a flat one. Although it still reaches a colleague, it's whipped off the toe end and over the crossbar from the boot of Deborah Abudun from the River Rangers. He scored twice in the African qualifiers, played three matches in the Champions League this year. Just couldn't set her sights right. Well, a one on one situation developing here. And the defender is happy just to slide the ball out. Le Jouy. Jade Le Jouy. Wonderful French name. And we have another stoppage. That's why we have the stoppage. Tying up the old bootlaces. Nigeria's throw, on we go, says the referee, as we've gone past the half-hour mark. Not an easy clearance to effect with the ball bouncing as it did, sort of knee height. Neither side finding it easy to impose themselves on the other. It's a very even contest. One played straight out, and the ball does stick on the running track. They've got a different ball for Alani to use. Alani once again, a little bit too close, I think. Here now, the players spread more, but the keeper should be alert in his and agile. keep this one in I'm afraid the answer is no so France have the opportunity here to raid in from the left has to check under pressure however just tries to win a corner kick could be a French throw they've not really been able to exert any pressure enough to uh, cause problems for the Nigerian goalkeeper so far that's better, and this is a chance that uh, there are two defenders converging immediately. That was really sharp defending from Nigeria. There's much to think about, much to ponder for the Nigerian coach. He's uh, been involved in the uh, Nigerian setup for some time now. Loves working with young players. He's been the coach since 2017. Won a gold medal uh, at the All Africa Games. He took his team to victory there. That ball just went out over the sideline. So it will be a French throw in. And it's going to seem strange that uh, half time comes in just over 10 minutes. Well, persistence didn't quite play off there for the uh, French player down this left touch line. Back in the arrow. And a 50-50 ball there. And another 50-50 ball. The second was won by the Nigerian side. The first was won by the French. But they made no profit from it. There's a defender really sticking to her job and doing it well. Dinaba Samura. Nigeria with a chance to set something up here. Ditto for France. The referee, well, could have allowed play to continue there. She's going to show a yellow card. I said earlier she take con 
consideration of the conditions. But to Demahin, far too robust for the referee's liking in that challenge. First booking of the night. Blessing uh, Demahin. Blessing her bad luck. So free kick France, 10 minutes before the break. And it's launched into a good area for them to pursue, to try and get something profitable at the end of it. It's been a match of limited opportunities so far. And the free kick's awarded against the French girl this time. And uh, we've seen a yellow card for Nigeria's number five. And uh, Kesha Silla here has uh, taken out her opponent to the uh, dislike of the referee. And she's got her name taken as well, so that's both number fives in the space of five minutes. Some symmetry about it all. It's a booming uh, loudspeaker system here in the stadium. We're hoping that scoreline changes uh, during the course of this match, which is obviously going to finish much later than scheduled now. Which means that the second game of the evening between Canada and uh, Korea Republic will also start much later. We're still hopeful that we can uh, get both games finished this evening. Well, a tickled pass. That's a better one, there was some strength in that, it's going to go out for the corner. Opportunity knocks again for France. Les Bleus. Those are the Newton Bleu. Les Bleuettes. Corner to come then. From Vicky Becho. Is there anybody in blue on the end of it? That's the big question. Will the keeper be tested? We've seen some good set pieces so far, and the keeper's come and not got there, and it's gone to safety somehow. How did they survive that, Nigeria? That will be a foul, and they've definitely survived it now as the whistle goes against the French number seven, Bakima Niaro. Kem Niaro from Montpellier has got one goal for her club. <laughs> she has played in 16 matches though, so not exactly prolific. There's a good turn away from trouble. And they are still a bit hemmed in here, the uh, Nigerian side. The Falconets, as they're known, fondly. This is into no man's land, really. Just a word about the conditions. We described them as adverse earlier. They're very adverse. It is still raining heavily, but nothing like the torrential downpour that caused the interruption. Which is why we're optimistic we can uh, get through the evening and keep the programme on schedule. And uh, are they on schedule for the first goal here, Nigeria? Tricky footwork. And uh, worked away very calmly by the central defence of the French. That's worth a, a chase. I think the defender is the favourite to get there and will steer the ball out for the throw in. But it has been brighter this game since the interruption. And we've uh, roughly five minutes left to go. And then back in the dressing rooms again. And he's got to think of something else to say. Another feeling. That one is skybound, way up into the sky. Really interesting character there, the number 11, Vicky Pachot. The only one who played 
in the qualifiers three years ago made a massive impact scoring a goal in them as the youngest member of the squad Ball is stabbed straight into the path of the opposition and now Nigeria can profit with this run to the edge of the 18-yard area. Got to deliver a, a telling pass, a better one than that. Didn't really look to have any conviction as to where she was going. Can France do any better? Have they got the speed? Have they got the person in the middle? She was balked, but uh, that was just good defending. No question of a foul. So half an opportunity at both ends, and the goalkeeper has to take prompt action here. Toe-ending the ball to safety, here it was again. That was just excellent work by the defender. Defending off the opponent, and that was fair enough. And, uh, well played. By Alani. Once again, we have a goalkeeper in trouble. French coach who's uh, employing the verbals at the moment taking the opportunity just to get another message across as the stricken goalkeeper is treated a quieter Nigerian coach at the moment there's going to be even more time added on now each squad does have three goalkeepers in, in it the other Nigerian keepers are Nelly Eke from the Sunshine Queens, who's 19 years of age, and another 19-year-old, Riku Obidinma from the Edo Queens. So get the gloves back on, get back on duty. Play will resume with a free kick to Nigeria. Well, normally we'd have just two minutes remaining, but I think we're going to have four or five. I think they've got surplus shirts in there to have a change. Both coaches said yesterday they knew this was going to be a tough fixture, and so it is proving to be. Solitary goal could settle it if we get one. France concluding the half on the attack. With a good long throw. Might get another one now. We've seen a goal from distance. We'd like to see uh, some long throwings as well. Especially if they uh, procure a goal. Always a difficult one to control. Lejoui slotting into the left fullback position for France this evening. Three French substitutes warming up. As we're inside the last minute of the half. My estimate would be that there'll be at least two to add on. Because of the stoppage for the uh, goalkeeper to be treated a moment or two ago. Good news is the ball is rolling smoothly across the surface. Okay. Okay. Well, the referee has uh, seen enough and she's blown the whistle bang on the 45 minutes. So we have reached the half third point of this game between France and Nigeria. It's been most unusual, to say the least. What is not unusual is probably the scoreline here. That feeling with DSTV Premium. With Catch Up Plus, watch all the shows you have missed on the Explorer.
the show. The show must go on, so it's the second half coming up between France and Nigeria here. Anybody just joining us, there was a lengthy disruption to the game because the heavens opened and the referee quite rightly took the teams back to the uh, dressing rooms for the best part of an hour. But they are back out here now, miraculously, and thanks once again to the ground staff for enabling the game to continue. There's an unhappy player, the number 17, Oceani Ertre, from France, who's had to go off with a, an injury just above her left eye. Neither side has conjured up a goal as yet, but uh, funnily enough, the game seemed to perk up a bit after the delay. Well, we have meticulous timing. So uh, just a short delay now before the resumption. And two hours after the kickoff, the second half starts between France and Nigeria in the Women's Under-20 World Cup here in Costa Rica. 45 minutes to come, plus whatever time is added on by the officials. And it's now France playing from left to right in the blue shirts. Uh, traditional colours, of course. And that's a decent ball in as well, but the uh, Nigerian defence holding firm for the time being. Ball running out over the sidelines, but it will be a French throw in. The Docker there was uh, one of the uh, most important players for Nigeria in the qualifiers, joint top scorer at one stage with five. And regarded as very much a calming presence in the team. It needs calm heads on nights like this. So Nigeria not able to prosper as yet from that pass. Cool. Is swiftly transferred to the left hand touch line. Opportunity to cross one in here. I'd love to see a goal, and uh, ooh, could have been one there. The marauding player coming in. Nigeria really started the better of the two teams, but they're not able to impose themselves in this instance. The challenge was over robust, so the free kick goes to Nigeria known as the Falconets Traore there came on as a substitute when the uh, player Earthray was withdrawn with the eye injury and within two minutes she had perhaps the best golden chance of the evening a header from a lovely cross from the left hand side coming in from Lugui she put the header wide so we're looking to change that scoreline in this second half here in Costa Rica Good technique shown by the French here. Oh dear, there it is, commentator's curse again. She brought the ball down brilliantly, did Mbakum uh, Niaro, and then passed it to nobody in particular. Rufal is the word to describe the coach's feelings. Sonia Azirai is the coach, 42 years of age, she was, used to play for Lorient, Gangon. There's a bit of ground here to make, and is she swift enough to get inside the 18-yard area? Delays, trying to go on the outside, does so successfully. And then is balked, and that's a really good piece of defending. Well played by Keisha Silla. Not only uh, gets the challenge in, manages to hurt the opponent as well. Not intentional. She's OK, Sabastine, though. We've not seen the best of her yet this evening. The prolific, flourish Sabastine. I'm not quite sure where uh, I can see a breakthrough coming in this match at the moment. No one is quite imposing themselves on the contest. The goalkeepers are relatively untroubled. But as somebody once famously said, it only takes a second to score a goal. Might come from a set piece.
Pressures is not just finding the mark right now from either side. There haven't been many moments really to excite the fans. Just waiting for something to happen, something tangible for either side. It could come from a mistake by somebody. Free kick in for uh, Nigeria. One for them by Ushapakola. It's been a hard-fought contest, no sound of doubt, doubt about that. It's, it's been physical. It's almost impossible to predict in these early games as to who are likely to go through to the next round, even. Certainly through to the semi-finals and final. Friends have to go back before they go forward, and then the possession is squandered. But quickly regain. Now they do have three forward here. Who's got the pace? Who's got the guile? Nice little trick to get inside. No foul. Well, well judged by the referee, I think, there. She was not actually uh, in a clear view of what happened. She made the right call. Number four for the French there is uh, Alice Somba, 18 years of age, a former Paris Saint-Germain player who's never scored a goal. Now would be a good time to get one. Well, they're making gradual progress here, Imran with the ball in hand. Well, the phrase, uh, defence is on top, springs to mind. Uh, it's a long and unavailing ball, that one. Goalkeeper must have had five seconds to see that one coming away. Ayonio decides to kill me with the right boot. She's got a good boot on her as well. It gets halfway inside the opposition half, does that one? Chase is on again here. But steered to safety and out of harm's way. There's a subtle look about this uh, Nigerian side. The majority of these players have been together now for a couple of years. No one another's play, and uh, the, the, virtually the squad is unchanged from the African qualifiers, which they won against uh, Senegal. Two-legged final. Actually, they won both legs comfortably. They piled up the goals before that. They beat Central African Republic 7-0 uh, and 4-0. They beat Congo 4-0. The uh, second game was a walkover. Long-range try, but no real problem again for the French keeper. And then Nigeria advanced even further in that uh, particular competition with uh, a victory over Cameroon, 3-0. The second leg was uh, scoreless. And then Senegal will be 7-2 on aggregate. There's a chance maybe here. Uh, the pursuit is on, but the ball is uh, clattered away over the sidelines. All a little pedestrian at the moment. Only a mile off, sorry. Quite ten minutes played in the second half in San Jose. It's unchanged at France nil, Nigeria nil. Well, we have a couple of one nils in the tournament. We've had a nil nil. Brazil and Spain here in this stadium. Needs a bit of 
brilliance from somebody. A flash of audacity. Better from Nigeria. They just about managed to keep the move ticking. But, uh, some of the passes are just a fraction heavy. And the moves are petering out. Both teams finding it really hard to get any rhythm into their game. Well, he'd be a referee. She might have been expecting the decision she had to make about taking the teams off. Drilled out uh, from the sidelines, goal kick from the right boot of Onion Zedi. Doesn't he look a, a lonely figure? Gene Kelly springs to mind, singing in the rain. France are going to make a substitution. And the player who's going to be entrusted with turning this one around is Nasi. The player she will uh, replace is Silla. The word about uh, Jacques Nassi comes from Nantes. She's a 19 year old forward. What well, is a forward player? We need to break the deadlock. It's a good place to win the ball. Waits and holds things up for support. That support does arrive now in the shape of uh, Mbakem Niaro. Still, it's Nigeria that's emerged with the ball at feet. Nobody's really stringing together more than two or three passes at a time. And this is a very hopeful punt. I think the conditions are actually worsening or having a bearing on the contest particularly it's just two teams who are unable uh, to to break a deadlock here they're cancelling one another out I remember making a comment during the Spain uh, Brazil nil nil match that both sides wouldn't be too disappointed with a point well obviously they want three now then can she get into the area she is in the area there's the pullback here's the big chance it is for nigeria and the save is made well done petito she spread herself well and made the stop mercy doko was in great position here no question of an offside either good work to get into the penalty area initially and there's the pullback oh what a chance it was and it doesn't matter how a goalkeeper saves her side with the leg and uh, Idoko is foiled great work from Sabastin initially first potential side of menace we've seen from the number one striker of Nigeria who have a corner kick they have hope oh, that certainly did not work out sprawling goalkeeper just manages to keep the ball in play but she did well in protecting her net well, that's the longest clearance of the night and it's worth a race there are some sprinters in the Nigerian setup favorite here is the defender though does her job well excellent from Alice Sombat from, you can see why she plays for Olympic Lyonnais in the 60th minute 
did say that the hair would get plastered to the face. Just thought there may have been a push there, but France emerged with the ball. And they have numbers forward, but the stab pass is uh, ahead of the colleague. And it's not been an easy night for either side. making gradual progress uh, almost rugby style down the touchline as we are about to hit the hour mark which means 30 minutes remaining and again better from the French bit of accuracy required now and with the cross as well and it is a good one oh, good goal well good goalkeeping she may have spilled the ball but she was under duress and no blame attack she might have to have treatment she came and did what she had to do as a plucky piece of goalkeeping here here is the uh, cross and she does have the, the ball in her control at one phase there from the cross from Le Jouy. A substitute Nassi. The keeper's okay, and she did her job. She earned the plaudits. The rain is absolutely incessant, and yet, as I mentioned a couple of minutes ago, the surface does not appear to have deteriorated at all since the resumption. Just needs somebody to. Uh, create something special and this is a brilliant run and the pass is good as well it just needs the cross corner kick good defending from the player who's been booked on the Nigerian side blessing uh, Demahen and they bless her defending technique here she had to get back quickly she covers the ground well to make sure the cross ball from Mbakum uh, Nyaru didn't come in Nonetheless, a corner here. And Bukem was uh, one of those interested in being on the end of things. And the two players hopping around inside the six-yard area. It's delivered high. It's into the goalkeeper's clutches. Nobody's made the best of any of these set pieces as yet. The player who came closest to making good contact there was Sombat. And now high into the night goes the ball from the boot of the... Nigerian goalkeeper so it is the Africans who have the next attack I can see five blue shirts covering so the onus is on somebody in the white shirt to find a way through and the ball is clear it's up to the center circle she's got to do it all by herself here has she got the pace to go can she get a shot through she can and it's beaten down by the gloves of goalkeeper Ayono goes down in prayer well there's an awful lot to do it would have been an absolutely spectacular strike if it had been effective from Mbakem Niaro the game has perked up a little in the last few minutes we always expect excitement in it every single contest we don't always get it games come in all shapes and sizes Sombat, the 18-year-old. Nobody here over the age of 20. And a wriggling run for the Nigerians and a chip over the, almost over the top, but they'll still latch onto the ball probably here. Oh, was there a foul? I think there was. So it was a rather clumsy piece of uh, defending, it has to be said. By Samura. 
Will afford the Nigerians an opportunity to get people up for this set piece. At the moment, I can only see three Nigerians in the 18 yard area, and uh, covering them are six French defenders. The director of operations. Onyanazidi with the uh, free kick. Expected to be challenging for a World Cup place next year. Of course, we're only a year away from the World Cup for women in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, any of the Nigerians going to be singing in the rain on the end of this free kick? will be a shot it will be deflected out just a question of whose boot it came off it was a French boot so there will be a corner here hope springing eternal that one of these set pieces will eventually pay off and that could have gone up against the arm just a reminder we do have video assistant referees here at the women's under 20 World Cup this time for the first time but an enthusiastic tribute still she has the possession Progress not easy though for the Falconets. Many players here are making a World Cup debut, especially with the year off, of course, that we have for the pandemic. So a lot of players who featured in qualifying matches are no longer eligible, but that's given the opportunity for others. Free kick France. 24 minutes remaining. So we're almost halfway through this second half. It was uh, exactly at this point in the first half, 21 minutes in, that the referee took the players to the sanctuary of the dressing room. It's sloppy from Sombat that. And as a result, Nigeria will be awarded the throw in here, just uh, over the halfway line. I thought there might have been one or two more substitutions by now. We've seen Nassi and Traore come on for France. The Nigerian coach has chosen to keep on the pitch for those who started the night a few hours ago. Stabbed forward here. Now, oh, I thought she had the strength to go all the way, but the referee's whistle intervenes, and it's going to be a free kick against Besho. for the coming together. I'm glad he's brought the waterproofs. It would be a perfect night for anybody who plays for the Rivers Queens, or the Rivers Angels, as they are in uh, Nigeria. Very much a football-loving country. I've loved this tournament over the years as well. That's a keeper's ball. Good communication between defender and the uh, lady in the black. And there's all the time in the world to assess what she's going to do with this one. Everybody heading for the other half of the field. And she almost chips it forward. Only just got the ball over the halfway line. A bang in the head. This time the sufferer is Deborah Abudin. We are going to have a Nigerian switch now. He must have been listening to me. And the change will see the withdrawal of uh, Jerry Joy. And Jerry goes off to accommodate Akwachuku. <laughs> Uh, 
And France defending solidly again on the edge of the 18-yard zone, but Nigeria still have useful possession. Well, that's the highest tonight. In winter, we'd be saying that came down with snow on it. We're not in winter, are we? We're in the rainy season. As, uh, Nigeria tries to win at least a free kick here. Might get a corner. No, they won't. I think she knows what I know, and that is we appear to be heading for stalemate right now. With nobody able to take a grip at all on the match. That's better, it has got through because the defender couldn't uh, latch onto that ball. And, uh, she manages not to bring her down as well. This is brilliant. But uh, is there a blue shirt on the end of things? No, it's uh, the story of the night so far. That looks so promising. There'll be a free kick here against the uh, number eight, the uh, captain here. That's it. Well, that was lovely approach play. It really was. And uh, once again, it's the goalkeeper who takes all the plaudits. And so uh, Fazer picked up uh, the free kick for the opposition. Not been too many fouls on this evening so far. One of the emerging stars, Loriana Fazer, voted the young, best young player in the top division in France. Free kick Nigeria, maybe too long. Oh, well, she will get to this. Turned out to be good. Twist and a turn. And the ball into the danger, but into the goalkeeper's arms. And it was good play again from Flores Savastine. She has plenty of confidence inside that uh, box. A twist and a turn. She takes on the two defenders, pulls it back. It could have gone anywhere. Could have uh, had a ricochet. As it was, but it's all handle the situation well. A bit more action for the goalkeepers than there has been hitherto. But they both look pretty comfortable right now. I can't say the two number ones because the French goalkeeper is wearing 16. Where is the break going to come from? Might be picked up while there is a Nigerian out of the action. And now two of them are almost getting one another's way. But they are well organised defensively and they also win the, the throw-in of the uh, substitute Nasi. Nigeria are shorn of one of their regular defenders this evening, Philomena Yina. She doesn't even figure amongst the substitutes because of injury. Defences continue to dominate. The goalkeeper's prepared for this one and clubs it away. Just got it over the halfway line that time, but the ball's back in the air again to stay on the ground especially with the conditions as they are the ball is not sticking but it has found its way out now to this right hand touchline to Besho continues the momentum decent ball in and into the penalty area down she goes no penalty and no alarm for the Africans nor did Nasi attempt to claim anything surrounded by white shirts green and white Excellent defending. No, the appeal falls on deaf ears. 17 minutes to go. And Group C has yet to see a goal. Hard though they try. Well, she did well to squeeze a pass out there. 
Well, she might have uh, conceded the possession, but it's led to a good run down the right touch line from Alani. Once again, the covering uh, defender is successful. Once again, Nigeria try to find an alternative route. And they have actually managed to get this player more into the action, Savastin, in the second half. And it's uh, some rather desperate French defending coming in from Samura. Which yields a throw in for the Africans on a line with the six yard box. I'm still dealing yards, by the way, not metres, because football was designed for yards. 18 yards, six yards. But we're miles off a goal at the moment. Throw for Nigeria. Squeezed away. We haven't seen one really telling pass from either team. Maybe it will come now. Here's the run in the area. I think she may have been offside anyway. Put it up. Stay on side here with the chip ball up and then a slice, which might encourage Nigeria to think they can get something out of that. There always seems to be an extra defender when required. On that occasion, it was Samura. If anything, Nigeria have had the better of the exchanges in the last few minutes, and we've got 14 of those remaining on the clock. A couple of French substitutes who've just had a, a bit of a, a jigger along the touchline to get ready, should they be required. And that wasn't required for Nigeria, the ball bumped straight out of play by Imran. It's a vast bowl here in uh, San Jose, is this, and I wonder if it is taking a toll on some of these players. They're really struggling to string things together, but the French might try to do so here now. Not a bad-looking ball in. Excellent clearance to instigate a move forward for the Falconets. Which way to go? Easily won back by France. They'll make a good advancement. Still, we look for a break. And that's a very, it's just something that occurred to me a moment ago. That was a very tired attempt to play the ball forward there by the number seven. Getting to the stage now where either side would be bitterly disappointed to lose this one. In a way, nobody does deserve to lose it. I think 0-0 uh, would be a, a fair scoreline. It would be a, a proper assessment of the way the game has gone. <laughs> he wants to get back to his uh, hotel room, I'm sure. kicks there which could be profitable for Nigeria oh, it's a piercing pass and it's got the crowd uh, such as it is at the moment roaring here asking for a corner kick and uh, that's the way the referee will point lovely ball there played piercing the back line of Nigeria but they really have stuck to their task defensively it's been an excellent exemplary performance from the Nigerian defence on that occasion, Demahen. Does an excellent job for her team. Blessing is the name. Will we be blessed with a goal from the corner kick? 
That's what the French are seeking here with 11 minutes remaining. What a time it would be to score. Keeper flaps at the ball, to be put into the net. The French have scored. The goal is given. The goalkeeper that may be regarded as culpable. VAR will possibly have a look at this one. I'm sure they will. And uh, that is the message that the referee is conveying to the objecting Demahin. Well, if there was to be a goal tonight, I thought it might be scrappy in these conditions. That's the only word for it. The ball is put into the Nigerian net by the substitute, Jean Nassi. France lead, but do they? VAR will be still looking. Anything could have happened in there. Schoolyard stuff, goal for France. Complaint from the goalkeeper. A messy goal from Nassi. Doesn't matter how they're scored. Still, she says, wait. As you can see, the discussions are taking place. And yes, yeah, she's coming to the monitor. So we're not scribbling 1-0 down just yet. Will she be satisfied that the goal has to be... has to stand, or will it be ruled out? There is a review here. And referee Francia Gonzalez is coming to consult. Having been alerted by VAR on this review, was the goalkeeper balked? Could have been fouled there. She's come to try and gather the ball in. The uh, French number four, as you can see, Alice Sombat, is uh, in sort of collision with her in challenge for the ball. Did she really put her off? No doubt about the ball being put into the Nigerian net by the French substitute. The referee's having a good look at this one. It was mayhem in there, let's be honest, I used the phrase about the schoolyard. We will soon know when the referee returns to the field of play. Whether she points to the centre and the goal to stand, or whether she points, here she comes, to a free kick. And on the review, the goal is ruled out. It will be a free kick, and this is why the challenge on the goalkeeper. Mayhem was the only word for it. She was put off her stride before the ball went via Nassi into the Nigerian net. So we are still goalless and we still have eight minutes, plus the time that will be added on for that review to go. Very much relief for the African side. Still, France might draw some encouragement, and yet here now, it's, it's they that are in trouble. Nigeria will go for a long-range try, and it flies over. Once again, we have an injured player, and this time it's Flourish Sabastin. Got the shot through, though. Fractionally high. A bit of drama here in San Jose. At both ends. Well, he'll be a relieved man. That looks to me as though he's uh, summoning another substitute. Maybe he thinks he can win it. Maybe France can win it. The game has uh, grown in stature in the last couple of minutes as the spectacle. Balked again. But the outstanding players in this match have been the defenders. There is a player of the match award. I don't like to be the judge who uh, picks one out of this game. But at the moment, you would have to say it would be a defender. Seven minutes remain. It's going to be a double switch from Nigeria. That we know. What we don't know is who will be coming off. Sabastin. Is she onside? Yes, she is. The flag stays down. It's a one-on-one -on -one developing. And talking of defenders, how good was that once again from Samura? One of those coming on is going to be the uh, number 10, Blessing Okpe. And the referee has raised the arm again before the free kick. 
That was because that player was offside. So Oppe's just gone back to the dugout momentarily. She's going to sit down again, put a rain jacket on. Six minutes away from a scoreless outcome. Now, the double switch will be affected. The other player arriving on the scene will be Chioma Alise. This one gets through, it could be Nigeria's night, she's on her way, and she put it in, tucked into the net. A few minutes ago, they thought they were going to get beaten, and now the super striker, Fleury Sabastin, has given Nigeria the possibility of victory. He is delighted, it's not, he doesn't care about the rain anymore. Well, it was a lovely finish, she still had plenty to do. The disappointment is etched on the faces of the French coaching team, but Flourish finished with a flourish she timed the run to perfection got away from the defender for once took a couple of touches that was the de decisive one with the left foot super ball through for Miduku and a fine finish as well from the best finisher in Africa probably flourish Tabastine she's a free agent by the way and when she gets free there is only one outcome 1-0 Nigeria And I don't think uh, VAR will be looking at this one. Well, she certainly knows the way to the net, the joint top scorer in the African qualifiers. Suddenly it's all smiles around. And she's coming off to an ovation from her bench. And she gets a hug from the coach. A well deserved one, too. She certainly had a better second half than first half. So we'll show you. Confirmation of those substitutions with uh, Abiodun and Sebastien coming off. Now, the onus is certainly now on the French. It's an interesting substitution. With the goal scorer relieved of duty. I didn't think we were going to get a goal. What a strange game football is. And then the French thought that they'd scored. They're going to make a double switch as well. The French thought they'd scored with a, a goal from a substitute. Nasi, but it was eventually ruled out by the VAR in consultation with the match referee. And then two minutes later, guess what? Nigeria go and score themselves but they're on the back foot again here French throwing everything at it about to bring on Sangari who's a, a striker who knows the way to the net it really was looking back a beautifully created goal <laughs> and a lovely cuddle from the coach's reward France is trying to bring on uh, Selina Ulohosin and uh, our Sangari. And Sangari is the first to see the board lifted. She will replace Imbuken Nyaru. Well, they need a goal, so is Sangari the one to provide it? She's to, set to be the life and soul of the party. Real character. Sombat's coming off as well for Ulu Hossein to come on. Ulla Hussein scored a goal recently at a 2-1 win over Mexico. She's more of a defender, really, but anybody could get a goal, and it would be welcome if they did. It drops into that 18-yard area, not cleared effectively. Not back into a dangerous area, but uh, just poured down in time by Onyono. Could have been tricky. This will be a disappointing uh, result 
It was Hultzel then who got that ball across to the goalkeeper, but the French are up against it here with a little time remaining on the clock. They're almost through again there. One minute left of the 90. There must be three or four to add on with all the substitutions we've had and a rather ungainly effort there from the Nigerian midfield, but they come out unscathed and move forward more sweetly themselves. And they have found a sweetness and a rhythm in the last few minutes. The French are massing the ranks, though. Hoping that they can find a gap somewhere. And a very unconvincing piece of defending, it has to be said. And here they come again. They lead by one. They'd love to lead by two. And it does get to a Nigerian player. They're on the edge of that 18-yard zone. No complaint from anybody there as the uh, Nigerian player who went to earth. Was that a push? It was by the substitute. Time has run out. It would seem for France now. The European champions have two minutes in which to rescue the situation and win a point. Discussions on the uh, touchline going on between coach Musa and his assistant, uh, Mr. Matthew. It looks like being another good night in the women's under 20 tournament here for the African side who've done so well in it over the years. Runs up in 2010 and again in 2014. And this will be their 19th win in 41 matches if they hold on, as they look like doing. And that goal they scored was their 65th in all those games that they've played. And it may be teeming down in San Jose, but the Nigerians do not care. Not one jot. And they're 45 seconds away from claiming an unlikely victory, I have to say. It really did look in this unrelenting sort of a match and in these unrelenting conditions that it was going to end up all square. But they end up where they want to be in the opposition half. And uh, another foray. And possession nine tenths of the law, and that's exactly what Nigeria are doing here. They're keeping the ball with the just 15 seconds remaining so the European champions are really up against it here I think the next time you hear the whistle from the referee it will be the full-time whistle from Francie Gonzalez it's turned out to be a good night for him and there is the final whistle and it is success for the African champions Nigeria They've pulled off something of a shock victory against the French here. The European side is beaten by that late goal from the striker. The princess of a striker that she is, Flourish Sabastine, is the match-winning hero. A smile from the French coach, though. Well done, and that's good to see. Yes, there will be disappointment in the French camp, but it was a good goal that won the contest from the outstanding striker on the night. France nil, Nigeria won is the final outcome. Well, it's a night nobody's going to forget for various reasons. We had a lengthy stoppage during the first half because of the conditions. But there's a togetherness here, as you can see, with the Falconets, who have uh, come away with three points to go top of Group C which later will feature a game in this same stadium between Canada and Korea Republic. The French disappointed but not dejected because they have other battles to fight beginning uh, on Sunday when uh, they'll be here again to face Canada while Nigeria will be off to Alajuela to face Korea Republic. Uh, there's certainly a togetherness about this side and going down on her knees there not in prayer, I don't think, is Flourish Sabastine. She's a talent at the age of 17.
And it took a special goal to win the night. And she gets another hug. She's going to be lifted all the way to the dressing room. Dressing room. I thought, what a lovely shot that is. <laughs> you deserve a rest. <laughs> He's going to take her all the way. And she's not injured. And she's the glory girl. Get out of the rain. She's not noticing. And there will be another night for the French to come. They've still two matches to play and still because it's the top two that progress from the group stage. Well, the uh, next game here is due to kick off in 10 minutes time. It's actually going to kick off now at 8.30, so it has been pushed back by half an hour, I understand. But a job well done from Nigeria. And they continue to impress in this women's under 20 World Cup over so many years. Their 10th appearance in 10 editions. And they've reached the knockout stage in seven of the last eight. And you wouldn't bet against them making that eight out of the last nine now. They scored 25 times in qualifying and conceded only two. is the busy and fast